Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can uh, install WordPress on your Windows computer in less than two minutes. And the majority of that is based on how fast you can actually download the zip file and extract it. Because that's really all you have to do. Download, extract, use WordPress. So it really can be done in two minutes or less on a slower connection. Maybe tad bit more than two minutes. It all depends. Anyway, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, scroll down to the download area and download the latest version. Uh, this may vary slightly depending on when you're watching this. It's a standard zip file. I already have it downloaded. I do have the zip file here on my desktop. The same thing, it depends on how fast you can extract the zip file. We'll extract it really fast here. It starts out a little slow and speeds up as it goes. It's about 35 there. It'll probably jump up there 17 seconds. Um, depends on how fast your computer is. This shouldn't take very long either. Windows comes with a, a zip extractor if you don't have one. A little bit slower than WinRAR, but it does a decent job. Almost done here. There we go. And the folder's down here. Let's move it up. Inside there is local WP. You can check the readme if you want. It's just how big it is and a little bit about the version. But all you need to do is double click this to start it up. And if you have an antivirus that likes to thoroughly check programs. It may uh, take a little longer the first time you start it up just so your antivirus can run a scan on it. Um, there it is. Anyway, this is a WordPress front page, WordPress dashboard administration. So if we click on front page, and there it is. This is the standard default install. Down here is some sample posts. This is just what WordPress comes with when you install a Hello World. And you might have some archive stuff on the side here. It's just going to be Hello World again. And this takes you back to the top of the uh, WordPress. The administration. You can log in with admin and WordPress. Again, this is already being used. You don't have to set up a database, a database user. You don't have to run an installer. It's all done for you. The username was admin, like I said. The password is WordPress. And we don't need complicated passwords for a local setup. And there's no need to, to make it complicated for a setup where you're the only one that's going to see it. Anyway, here's the dashboard, administration dashboard. You can uh, create a post or a page or install a plugin. Um, use this to learn about the different settings and things in WordPress. If you haven't, use, use it for local development, before you make changes to a live site, whatever. The possibilities are enormous. That way you won't mess up a live site, or you can just use it to learn WordPress. And we log out of there. Like I said, ready to go. If we come back here, PHPMI admin is a database administration, which is a fairly common thing in a web host. Again, that is the user is root, password is WordPress. Again, we just want to keep it simple. And on the side here, you can find the WordPress database with all the entries. You could export this if you had made some changes in something you want to export and then import into your host or you just want to learn and test out some of the database administration it's an excellent tool for that um, this is just a WordPress online help link here on the side if you want to go directly to the WordPress main files and folders this will take you there uh, if you wanted to edit or make some changes to any of them uh, same thing with the themes. That'll take you right to the themes folder. Here you go. Themes. 
it just comes with WordPress at the current time. If you had installed some, you'd have others in here. In the plugin, same thing. Default plugins, which is basically nothing other than Askimet and a sample Hello Dolly, I believe they call it. Here's the README. This is just basic information about the version, uh, what it comes with, how big it is, restart, shut down. PHP info will give you information about how PHP is configured and set up. And here are advanced features for uh, options for those of you that want more control. You can edit the WP config directly. You can change the WordPress admin password, which was right here. Uh, admin in WordPress, that would change the WordPress part if you want. We have Apache modules here. This is Apache web server. And if you want to enable and disable, just be careful because you can render local WP sort of unavailable. So don't change these unless you know what you're doing. You can directly edit the HTTPD configuration file there. Uh, MySQL comes with MyISAM set up by default. You can also switch to INO database, but it's, uh, it uses a little more resources, memory, and uh, it's a tiny bit slower, so local setup MyISAM is fast and works well. Then you'd save the DB engine. Uh, you can view and edit the MySQL any file. If you want to change the root password, is right here the WordPress part for PHP My Admin. You can do so there. PHP extensions are similar to the Apache. You can enable and disable these. These are a little less uh, likely knock local WP unavailable. But uh, I won't enable or disable these unless you know what they're for or what they're going to do. You can raise the memory limit, execution time, input time, file size, and post max size. You can open the PHP and directly edit the PHP any file for even more advanced changes. On the side here, send mail. You can use this to uh, uh, connect to an external SMTP host server and if you have uh, WordPress configured and set up to do any kind of uh, notifications you could use that to do so. Uh, there's also WordPress plugins that will do the same thing. This isn't something a lot of people will probably use. It's disabled by default but uh, it is available. On the side here WordPress pass show or hide that'll show or hide this password area here. If you show, select hide, it'll star it out. Same with MySQL pass. It's WordPress here right under PHP My Admin. If you select hide, it'll star that out. Um, maybe if you're in a public setting or showing this to somebody, you'd rather not have them in there for whatever reason, you can hide them. Uh, backup feature will ask you if you want to back up some of the configuration files, PHP any, HTTP D configuration, WordPress config, or the MySQL any before making changes. That's off by default. Most people don't use it, but it's there if you, you need to or want to. And up in here you can change the port and the IP online offline technically you could use this for an online uh, website you'd have to uh, do additional configuring and probably a DNS and all that uh, you could read up on that primarily this is used for an offline uh, test environment test and development so it's set to offline you could change that uh, the server IP this uses 127001 some other similar types of setups actually put local host in there and then local host would show up in here that is actually slower than using 127001 
Uh, you could change it to that if you want to, but it will be a little bit slower. In the port 8080, that you can change to something like 81, 8081, whatever. The default 8080 works well. I wouldn't change that unless you need to. If you're going to try to use 80, you may need to uh, turn off 2S, which is on at least Windows 8 and 10, because that's already using port 80, and they may conflict with one another, or your Windows firewall may uh, ask you for approval or whatever, something, something to those lines. If you change this to a port that's already being used, especially port 80 for a local test environment, Try not to change that because it's configured and works well the way it is. But that's available to you. Also, that's about it. You can install this and have it running. And it doesn't physically install anything through the Windows installer. It'll, it just extracts it to a folder and runs directly from that folder. If you want to totally get rid of it, make sure your local WP is shut down and not running and then delete the folder that you extracted it to and it would be totally gone um, you can it's also portable you can move it to another location if you want if I want into the this other folder it would run from there without making any changes I could move this to an external flash drive and it'll run from there without making any changes that's what makes it portable it'll It'll work from any location. It'll be a little bit slower on a flash drive because flash drive isn't as fast as your computer hard drive, but it will work just fine on there. And uh, like I said, this can all be done in two minutes or less, maybe a tad bit more on a slow connection to initially download the zip file. But otherwise, two minutes, maybe less for those of you with really fast computers and internet. And if I go back there and start it up, you can see it starts up right away. There's only a few seconds to start up. The other thing I would mention is you can see the system requirements. It works on both 32 and 64 bit. Uh, Vista Service Pack 2 or greater, which means Vista Windows 7, 8, 8 1, Windows 10 will work on these server editions of Windows, for those of you that may have that. It requires a certain amount of space. At the current time, about 220 megabytes. That's just, once it's extracted, that's how much space it takes. It was compiled with Microsoft Visual C++ 2012, which means VC11. And if you don't have that on your computer, uh, you'll need to get it from here, from directly from Microsoft. If you start the program and you see something like this, it can't start because msvcr 110 dll is missing. That means you don't have them installed. You may have. A lot of programs install them automatically without your knowledge. And a lot of them do use that, so there's a good chance you already have it. If not, you have to uh, get it from Microsoft. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to learn WordPress, you can do so. Put it on your computer in less than two minutes and be up and running. No database installs. Check it out. It's a free program. For those of you that aren't into all the technicalities, probably the easiest ever uh, find right now to get WordPress running on your computer.